Good day everyone, I am Debbie Faith Adamia and in this video, I am going to discuss the second topic of our free lame, what is Kolohiyang Filipino? According to Enriquez, 1975, Kolohiyang Filipino is anchored on Filipino thought and experience as understood from a Filipino perspective. And the most important aspect of this definition is the Philippine orientation. So basically, Sikalingian Filipino is firmly rooted on Filipino perspective, not just perspective, but also the actual experiences of the Filipinos and their orientation. Now, when we say orientation, these are the values, beliefs, and practices that Filipinos have. Like, for example, Pagitipag Kapwa. Bayanihan, pagmamahal sa pamilya, uh, what else? Pagalam sa matatanda, pagmamano, pagsabi ng po at opo. So those are the examples of Filipino orientation. Now, for centuries, Filipino behavior has been analyzed and interpreted in the light of Western theories. And since these theories are inevitably culture-bound, the picture of the Filipino has been inaccurate, if not distorted. Meaning, for a very long time, these Westerners have been analyzing and interpreting Filipino behavior using their theories, which I think is not a good idea because how can you fully understand something if you don't experience it. How can these Westerners fully understand what Filipino perspective, behavior, and orientation is if he himself is not a Filipino, right? If he is not born here in the Philippines. So that is why the picture of the Filipino has been inaccurate and distorted because the people who try or who are analyzing and interpreting making assumptions of our behavior are not Filipinos, no? They have they have different culture from Filipinos. Now, moving forward, Virgilio G. Enrique, as the father of Sikulian Filipino, later defined Sikulian Filipino as a study of diwa or psyche, which refers to the wealth of ideas referred to by the philosophical concept of essence and an entire range of psychological concepts from awareness to motives to behavior. Now, in short, Scholar Filipino is a study of Diwa or Psyche which covers a wide variety of psychological concepts from awareness or kamalayan to motives to behavior or pag-uugali ng mga Pilipino. Reservations on Western model. So, many intellectuals are against the usage of Western theories in analyzing or interpreting the Asian culture. So, reservations regarding the appropriateness and applicability of Western models in the third world setting have been expressed by a growing number of social scientists like Enriquez himself, Guerrero Diaz, and Sinha because the Philippine experience have proven that approaching psychology using these models cannot encompass the subtleties of Asian culture. Of course, it cannot because Asian culture is far different from Western cultures. Western cultures, they are collect, uh, 
individualistic no individualism they are only they're more focused on their own needs own growth while the asian culture they are their values are collectivism no and and where they they are not only focus on themselves but for the group for the betterment of of everyone they they value social harmony cooperation and uh interdependence so si colonia filipina is a step towards contributing to universal psychology now when Korean Filipino is still developing. Uh, Nakapokus lang siya sa ginatawag na indigenization, which means it is based largely on simple translation of concept, methods, and theories and measures into Filipino. For example, psychological tests were translated into local language, motive modified in con content so the philippine type version of the original bio test was produced and since this indigenization did not fully or failed to capture and express a truly uh, a a truly filipino psychology another indigenization was uh, given more emphasis and which is this uh, indigenization from within it means looking from the indigenous psychology from within the culture itself and not just clothing a foreign body with local dress so instead of adapting and uh, relying on foreign theories why not we should look into our own um, culture so that we can come up with a theory that is relevant and is uh, culturally, culturally sensitive and accurate for the Filipinos, which every one of us can agree with. No? Now, moving on, in fact, the word indigenization is enormous because how can you imagine something which is already indigenous? So the better term for it is cultural revalidation, which means it seeks to challenge negative beliefs and stereotypes and to empower marginalized groups by violating their cultural identity and values. So instead of um, using the word indigenization, the better word for it is cultural revalidation, no? the validation of our culture. So here are the strategies for discovering Skolahiyang Filipino. Number one is assessing historical and social cultural rea realities. The next one is understanding the local language. The third one is unraveling, unraveling Filipino characteristics and explaining them through the eyes of the native Filipino. So in short, a psychology which is appropriate and significant to Filipinos. So all of these strategies should be um, considered or um, should should be used. You are try if you are trying to discover Sikolang Filipino because as you can see on this strategy it is, it is really focusing only on the Filipino itself, not the Filipino history, the culture, the social cultural realities, the language and no other or no influence of the Western, no? So it is alone for the Filipinos. So the principal emphasis of Sikolang Filipino is to foster national identity and consciousness. 
Social involvement and psychology of language and culture, it is thus concerned with proper applications to health, agriculture, art, mass media, religion, and other spheres of people's daily life. So this is, so these are the principal emphasis of Psychology in Filipino to foster our national identity. It's because for us to have a sense of belongingness, it for us to have our own identity, non an identity that is pure and does not have an influence or um, basis from other other culture. So yeah, and other spheres spheres of our daily lives. So in conclusion, psychology in Filipinos, a psychology approach that focuses on studying the psychology of Filipinos from a Filipino perspective with an emphasis on cultural sensitivity and understanding. It rejects the use of Western models and instead utilizes a process of imaginization from within or cultural revalidation. It aims to contribute to universal psychology by fostering national identity and consciousness and proper applications to different aspects of our daily lives. So yeah, that's it. I hope you learned something and yeah, have a good day. Bye.